Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Teasing Master Tarizan season 3 episode number 10 reaction. Alright, the previous episode. Oh, it was a really good episode. Uh, Takagi and Nishikata go to the movie and it is uh, it's a little distance with, uh, in the boat and they leave their island and go to the uh, like in a movie theater and um there was a few a little time before so they kind of went to the i think arcade yeah where they had like you know the claw machines and stuff and there was like the first part of the episode was that like you know when the claw machines where takagi and nishikata tried to like you know again like they made this like a competition where they tried to get something <laughs> and nishikata was really wanting the plushie of the uh, main characters of uh unlocated love 100 percent that movie <laughs> but he was unable to get it Tagi, as always was able to get it and she was he realized that he wanted it so he, he like act, gave it to him <laughs> and then like you know the movie starts and it was a good movie and after the movie ends they actually like you know Nishikata uh, Tagi asks Nishikata how whether he would like a person like the main heroine who's like clumsy kind of did see that type of and <laughs> then she actually acts like that for a little moment and uh, it starts snowing it's christmas and they exchange gifts and it was a really great scene and uh, takagi gets uh um, hand clubs which she can use to you know like keep her hands warm because she's always like you know blowing on her hands and takagi, uh, nishikata saw that and nishikata gets the muffler which she was knitting so yeah like that was that they exchanged the cards as well and everything and they come back and uh, yeah and that was that was basically the episode it, it was really good episode more development and uh, yeah like and that was christmas so i'm guessing in a few maybe in today's episode or maybe in the next episode we'll have like a new year you know like the shrine visiting that like, you know that event and um yeah maybe we're going to get that let's see because that's like another staple of slice of life animes you know like going to visit the shrines for the hatsumo day so yeah let's see if that happens so anyways let's get started this is episode number 10 of uh, teasing master tagi san season 3 so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here Think it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one <clears throat> okay boy this season had a lot of really good episodes you know like by good episodes i mean those episodes where like huge development happens and the first one was the uh school play one uh the previous episode which was the christmas one i'm going, going to the movie and maybe for the season finale the final episode will get another big development that's that's usually what happens you know in the final episode there's like another big development so that'll be interesting this season they they had a lot of developments and yeah Hmm. All right. Hatsumo, I was just saying this. There you go. Ah. I knew it. This was going to happen. Okay. Wait, oh, is, is this like the... This was the previous season? I don't remember. Yeah, 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 I, I think this is season 2, either season 2 or season 1. That, 
There she is. Ah, she's wearing her his. Oh, Nishikata's also wearing his her. <laughs> mm, there you go. <laughs> oh, wait, are we going to? Oh, I thought we were going to meet them or something. <laughs> All right, prime time to pray. New Year resolutions and stuff. Maybe they're going to meet someone, some acquaintances or something. <laughs> two bows, two claps, one bow. Okay. Um, that's not going to come true. <laughs> Uh, there you go. <laughs> As <laughs> she's all yeah. Well, God won't listen to you at at least for that one. <laughs> Try guessing. I doubt that. Yep. <laughs> The confidence. Uh. Okay. Fortunes. All right. Luckier one. Yeah, this is based on luck, so. Yeah. Plain ah. Uh, well, it's better than bad luck, you know. It's one after amazing. Oh, then it's okay. Good. Oh no. How? Oh my god. What was that? Amazake or something like that? No. He probably said something about Nishikata something related to him. Oh. There you go, it's Amazaka, I knew it. Hmm. Well <laughs> He's like, wait, what did you wish for? Oh and that as well. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god oh my <laughs> that's what you wish for 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Snowman, okay. This'll be fun. Yeah. Oh, Takagi, most probably. There you go. Making a snowman contest or throwing snowball contest, whatever. Wait, where is her footprints? Did she like teleport here or something? <laughs> <laughs> Five years, okay. There you go. Snowman contest. She's wearing it. And he's also wearing it. Oh, wait, it's a different one. Oh, sorry. Kind of looks the same, so. Okay. Wow. When he was an element. Okay. I can understand how much big that is. Better. Oh. All right. Well. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah, those are needed. He doesn't have any decorations. What's he going to do with it? Like you need branches, maybe a carrot and like, you know, muffler, little hat maybe. There you go. <laughs> okay. What? Oh my god, this kid. Ah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, it's, it's dirty as well. Look at that. Oh. Oh my god. You need the head. That's not... Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, you need to put that up now. You don't have the head of the snowman, so yeah, that's, that's not a snowman, that's just a snowball, you cannot pick it up. <laughs> okay. Come on, 
You do push-ups, so... Okay, never mind. He is a 14-year-old kid, so... I'm, I'm pretty sure adults will also have problem with lifting this, these two huge things. Disqualified. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, no, no need to pick that whole thing up. Kind of takes something and just... Wait, they were able to pick it up? Well, I guess, yeah, because both of them were there. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, snowman. Yeah, that's true. Oh, wait. <laughs> New Year's. Okay, school has started again, so... What? <laughs> what? My god. That's... okay. <laughs> Yes, it, it feels nice. What? What does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Pipeline? Okay. Playing. All playing. Yeah. Probably just chilling. Oh, running. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Um, homework? Probably that. <laughs> oh, this girl. Advice. Okay. Probably something related to... I, I don't remember the guy's name. Um... Yeah... Yeah. Why... Oh, I guess they're friends, so... Are they friends? I think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um Yeah, they are friends. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh... <laughs> oh god, look at his face. Okay. Oh my god, I, I think she probably saw that. Oh, yeah, she was there. <coughs> You're not supposed to tell. <coughs> uh, well. All right, let's play a game. Oh wow, he, she just guessed that completely. My God. Okay. Ah, she's too big brained. It's <laughs> <laughs> just bothering her. Okay. Well, this is awkward. Oh my god. Fifteen. Okay. Um. Probably his birthday is coming. No, his birthday is coming. So he'll be fifteen. He'll be fifteen. So. Oh dear. Wait. Which year they are? Then. It's probably his birthday, like next year or something. There you go, next birthday, so they'll be 15. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's probably going to tell. Uh... Mm. <clears throat> oh. Ah. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> oh boy what why <laughs> Whoa. It's impressive that they like you know like they have like 
separate ending songs for each and every episode. That's like even though uh, uh, Rie Takahashi is the one who's singing it, but still, like you know, like recording like a separate ending song for every episode is kind of impressive. All right, that is it. <coughs> this episode. So, okay, I I knew it. Like, and they they're obviously they they had like a Christmas episode, so they're going to do a New Year epi uh, episode as well. So the first part is Hatsumode or the first shrine visit, and <coughs> yeah. Now <laughs> I've always wondered why. Where are their parents? You know. And they kind of explain, they kind of say it that yeah, both their parents are actually you know, came here, probably met some friends, neighbors, started talking with them, and just probably forgot about them. <laughs> so that's that's basically what's happening. And yeah, it's it's kind of what can I say? Um, like I like I I understand like they they are like you know they they put more a focus on the characters. They don't go towards the uh parents or like you know like that's like a difference between a few other animes like a few animes like mm, i don't know maybe like you know I, I don't remember but uh oh for example komi uh, i guess but komi is uh, quite different from uh, uh takagi-san because uh, in komi can't communicate there's like a whole cast of characters while this show here it's like basically three or five uh, uh, like you know not three five or like you know uh, eight uh, characters maximum who are like who we know you know those those kids that we know and like the teacher one or two teachers we know and uh, yeah that's basically it that's like the main uh, whole cast and that's why i guess they do not add more characters and it kind of like you know keeps the simplicity i guess because uh, we don't have to like if we like if a character is introduced in a show we need to pay attention to that character so like more as as like you know mangas or animes add more characters uh then we need to properly pay attention to them and even give them little bits and pieces uh of story and let them participate in the story as well uh, like otherwise like and introducing a character is like you know like should not be done if they are actually forgotten so that's why to keep it more simple and put more uh, focus on the main two characters that don't have much characters at all and that kind as i said that kind of keeps the simplicity and in a way that's kind of nice and but i would really love to meet their parents you know like nishkata and takagi's parents like how they are i would love to see <laughs> what type of you know, people what personality they have it'll be it'll be quite interesting but i doubt that's going to happen <clears throat> Uh, okay now all right we go to the shrine uh nishikata is there and he meets takagi <coughs> <coughs> at first he was <coughs> remembering the previous year like you know that <coughs> what happened and takagi comes in and takagi is like all right let's go together and pay our you know like respects and pray they go up they like, you know like put the offering and pray <laughs> and okay then <laughs> it's like what did you wish for like you know let me guess uh probably that you don't want to get teased by me 
And Nishkata is like, oh, maybe you're also wishing for that. She's like, no, that, that usually happens. So I don't need to wish for that. <laughs> okay, so the first uh, contest of this year was uh, drawing uh, the luck thing. Now, <clears throat> like, like I've seen like in a lot of different animes, like in a lot of different, uh, like, you know, luck or the way, like in the omikuji, I think that's what they call it, uh, where they draw the luck. And usually there's like a shrine maiden, you know, who has like a, a little cylindrical box where it would kind of like, you know, shake it and a little thing comes out, pops up. They, 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 they you know, take that out and whichever, like, you know, like kind of open it and there's like the luck, like, you know, daikichi, uh, like, you know, shokichi, like, you know, the, the different luck, like, you know, good luck, amazing luck, you know, small luck, all that, those stuff are written there. And uh, like if you get like very bad luck or something like that, you're supposed to tie it up. I think the 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 little coupon that you get tied up in like a place where a lot of different uh, other people also tie up their luck, so that uh, you know like like that I think so that it 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 doesn't affect you or something like that. I don't know quite properly, but so that that bad luck doesn't affect you or something. I think that's what you do. Like you know you kind of uh tight in in in, in the in that uh, place in that shrine so something like that but i think this is the first time i've seen a fortune like in a vending machine type, not vending machine but like like a this type of a thing where there's like a box with a hundred yen written on it you put the money in it and it pops out like like this is like fully automated i think this is the first anime that i've actually seen something like this like usually we, we see like shrine maidens with those things and they give it to you so it's, it's interesting maybe maybe this is like uh like you know a thing that is like you know in, in japan that's like you know starting like people are using this nowadays or something like that like everything's getting automated so it, it wouldn't surprise me if this is actually getting like you know more uh prominent in shrines you know like because it's just like a shrine maiden standing there just for that i think that's the kind of um what do you call it uh takes a lot of effort and all and the shrine maiden could do something else at that time so i guess this is like a more proper automated and time like you know, less time consuming way so this is the first time i actually see a thing like that so i was quite you know like surprised so <clears throat> they put the money in thing comes out and <laughs> Nishikata gets mm, I think normal luck something like that <laughs> and Takagi gets amazing luck I don't know how she does that you know always like you know so lucky like my god and <laughs> yeah she wins again but Takagi like Nishikata also got something good you know at least you didn't get bad luck or small luck something like that he got luck like you know normal luck average luck so yeah and then they were like you know drinking amazake uh, uh like when they were drinking that i i thought like that was amazake probably but i was kind of thinking maybe like you know it's they're like 14 year old so maybe they wouldn't drink amazake because it's like kind of like an alcohol i guess uh wait is amazake alcohol i'm not even sure let me check is i don't think it's amazake alcohol Amazake literally means sweet sake, but when produced, it's either low alcohol, there you go, or alcohol free, there you go, okay, makes sense. Um, so, okay, Amazake, okay, it doesn't, probably this one didn't have any alcohol. So, like, and, like all the time, all the animes we've seen, <coughs> whenever, like, people go to the shrine, and, like, you know, for the Hatsumode, they usually drink Amazake, so, yeah. And... Okay, now then they like you know Nishka uh, gets like a phone call and she's like, "All right, let's I'm I'm, I'm going," and parents are calling me. <laughs> Nishkata's thinking, "What did she wish for?" I I still cannot understand, and he's he's like, "Wait," and Tagi is like, "What? You wanted to spend more time with me?" <laughs> and then she's like, <clears throat> "I wished uh, earlier that you." Oh, um, uh, Nishikata says, like, maybe we should do this again next year. And she's like, yeah, my wish came true. Like, I wished for the same thing that you asked me on a date. <laughs> and again, another, like, you know, like, she, she teased him again. <laughs> oh, boy. 
All right, the next part is the snowman. Like you know, making a snowman. Uh, Takagi uh, Nishikata gets like a message. Now, okay, like this is one thing that I am really quite jealous about. That snow, you know, like like in Japan and like in a lot of other places, snow falls, and you know, like there's like this thing where you make snowman like play with snowballs and stuff. My country that never happens and probably never will so it's kind of like you know like <laughs> like a thing like where i kind of feel like ah like it would be kind of nice if snow fell you know and like everything was just everything snow was there and like you know we, we would make snow uh men and everything it'll be kind of fun uh but at the same time i've heard from a lot of people that snowfall is like one of the worst things because they have to shovel off the snow from the roads from their houses you know like it's it's a mess it, like it's a complete mess and a lot of people say that it's not that fun so maybe i don't know <laughs> maybe like you know like it's like it's fun but at the same time it's a lot of work so <laughs> yeah anyways um <clears throat> okay <laughs> I, <laughs> this scene <laughs> Nishkata comes and you know like there's like footprints that like you know that leads up to here Takagi is standing and the footprints start from the middle of the snow I'm like what did she do like she trans teleported here or something is that Takagi's like superpower or something like maybe that's why she is like you know so <laughs> you know, she always like knows what Ta Nishikata is doing maybe she can teleport like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that was funny you know like the the footprints start from the middle of the snow and i'm like my god ah uh, anyways um <clears throat> okay so making a snowman now uh, nishikata uh, takagi says we should make a snowman and judge which is better now takagi uh, nishikata thought that it it would be a contest on which one is bigger so he's he was like ah i'm going to do it amazingly but then he's like wait what we have to do it better and so artistic value and the you know uh, what do you call it the uh, size of it will be uh, judged and the other person will judge it so <laughs> nishikata goes and like you know not nishikata sorry takagi goes and uh, brings out all the decorations and stuff while nishikata as always he tries to make the bigger one and uh, Takagi makes like a small little cute uh, snowman with the decorations, like you know, branches, the little leaves. And uh, she could have brought a carrot from her house, I guess, if she, like, you know, like, because she, she knew like they were going to play this. She could have brought that from her house. That would have been like, you know, give, that would give her like a little nose. That would have been even better. But I guess she did not bring, bring it, probably forgot or something. So, yeah, but the leaves and the branches worked. While Nishikata, oh my god, he's just bring, making these huge snowballs and he's like, okay, I'm going to make the bigger one. <laughs> and in the end, he just makes two big snowballs which are dirty. <laughs> and he, oh my god, he, he tries to pick that up and unfortunately isn't able to. And just the time runs out. So... <laughs> Oh my god, in the end, Takagi is like, all right, let's help you with this. Both of them, you know, kind of take it and put it on top of each other. And uh, yeah, nice little, not little, but Takagi, uh, Takagi was, it was little, while Nishka is like big one. So, two snowmen. <laughs> and again, before going, Takagi teases him a little bit. She's like, oh, they look like mad couple. <laughs> Ah, uh, oh god. Alright, the next part. School has started again. Everyone's back at school. Um, Kimura is posting about how many mochis, 30 servings of mochi he ate. While the three girls, they are... Uh, oh, they're they talking about what they did in the new year. <laughs> and like, the, the, what's the name of the girl? Sanai, I think that's her name, yeah um he says like oh i just you know like played played board games played karuta so many things i played while the other girl the girl who's like kind of kind of 
quiet that girl it's like oh i just ran around collecting money from everyone <laughs> and i was able to buy a shoe while the glasses girl she was like i just laid around in my home and uh, yeah that's <laughs> i think most of the people does that nowadays like you know who, who doesn't have any plans they just lay around playing video games either watching movies and stuff and uh, <laughs> yeah nothing wrong with it you know because yeah like i feel like nowadays most of the people does that like i i don't think many people go out on a new year that much as i said like you know people who probably are have, like you know like couples and everything they probably just go out or people who are like you know have friends and all like who just loves to hang around like those type of friends who just loves to hang around that type of friend like there's a lot of friends like they that don't like you know want to just go out at all <laughs> and you're just stuck in your home <laughs> so yeah those people probably goes out other than that since like you know everything's just here in your house you can just people just stay in their homes and probably just play video games or just watch movies and hang around just lays around <laughs> okay the next part uh, this is a part where uh, the dad girl asks uh, nishikata about uh, his friend what he wants for a birthday his birthday so because obviously Nish uh, nishikata is like a good friend to him so that's why and nishikata says oh he probably wants your cookies and obviously she's happy about it but she's like no nope, i'm not happy it, it serves him right yeah cookies that's what what i'll like you know make um you know like the it'll be like a cheap thing to do uh not much expensive and yeah that's good but obviously she's happy <laughs> and i knew i knew that tai was here somewhere because when she they go back Takagi is like weirdly just quiet and she then says like oh like you I think his, her name is Hojo isn't it yeah you made Hojo-san didn't you <laughs> and the, the, the guy's name is Hamaguchi okay um so she's like what were you talking about Nishikata's like oh it's a secret no, I'm, I'm not supposed to tell it she just she just guesses it she's like oh i thought i i, I think it's probably because she, of the gift you know, like her his birthday is probably coming or something <laughs> i don't know how she does that every time but i guess you know like she probably knew <clears throat> now here's the thing this is like the part where it actually kind of goes a little bit awkward because nishikata is like okay i'm not supposed to tell this to anyone so he keeps quiet now usually what happens is like this is a funny thing usually what happens if this is like any other this was like any other topic which nishikata like you know Takagi was teasing him about you know nishikata would obviously act like this she would like you know either act uh like you know deny it or would not say anything while Takagi would have a nice little laugh this time it did not go that way because this is like a more serious thing and this was actually bothering her so his him being silent you know actually did not like you know work here and usually as nishikata like you know kind of laughs it off she didn't do that here because she was really bothered by it <laughs> she <laughs> what she does here is she's like you know what um he's not saying this like you know like uh, coming clean with it so let's play it like in a little game here she says like okay like um what would you like you know like i'm just thinking about making something for a 15 year old boy and at first nishikata was like okay maybe it's like the dog again like he's like oh the dog is like going to become, become 16 or something if that was happening <laughs> like it's like no it's a boy on in, in his third year now i i really I, like, I knew like she was talking about his next birthday not this one but the next one like now like you know the i guess they're 14 so the next one 15 i knew that's what she was talking about but nishikata is obviously not that big brain so <laughs> he's like he's getting bothered and everything 
and oh my god and i think Tai probably realized that it was bothering him and he she realized like how childish she is kind of acting here so she's like okay it's you you know like obviously it's you and <laughs> now doing this made nishkata was like okay i kind of felt relieved and then he probably realized like what was happening and maybe nishkata uh, takagi is also being bothered by this so she he's like okay um i i'm not supposed to say this because i promised i wouldn't so i'm sorry i couldn't like you know reply to you and here nish takagi realized like yeah like what am i even doing i'm i'm acting a little bit you know mean towards him if mean like in this way mean and she's like yeah i'm also sorry like and i i acted a little bit mean towards you like kind of a little bit you know a play like you know what did what what did she use uh where is it um yeah i feel like i did something mean so not <laughs> nishkata's like wait don't you always do that and she's like no that's usually that's playful teasing this was something that is different like obviously like we can understand what it is this time she deliberately kind of you know did this to get back at him you know like usually what she does is playful teasing as she said but this time she kind of did this to get back at him so that's why she's like oh i think like i did something mean and yeah she she realized obviously she realized like this is probably something like hojo said told him that don't say this to anyone that's why he is you know like protecting that promise and not saying anything and i just acted like this you know and i feel like this problem that in this episode is like you know, the final part of this episode um kind of uh what can i say like you know showed takagi as a child here which is very normal usually he she is like so mature i'm like what the hell like how old is she like she's like a 14 year old girl and the things that she says is like like some 20 22 year old like even 25 26 year old like you know teenager uh, not teenager that's not a teenager it's an adult sorry <laughs> 24 25 year old adults what they say that's what she like you know thinks of her her mindset is like that so this this really showed like yeah she's 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 a kid and you know what i guess like you know not only kids do that i guess like you know even adults would probably do something like this you know a little bit of getting back at the other person because this is basically human emotion and you know she was getting bothered by that whole situation even though she knew she probably had a good guess as to what happened she probably realized like oh um it was because of the gift he went and probably hojo san said like you know don't say this to anyone and we all always like you know we already know how nishikata is very you know strict about these kind of things he's a very nice like you know like good-hearted person so he wouldn't say it he would protect the promise that he made so that's why he's not telling this to me i'm sure she realized that and she knew that but still it was bothering her it was still bothering her this whole thing so she thought like okay let me get back at him and kind of made nishikata fall into that same thing that she was feeling and nishikata felt uh, bad and then she realized like yeah i shouldn't have done that like he's just protecting him from his first but while i'm here just doing this because i want to get back at him so she apologized she's like yeah i'm sorry i shouldn't have done that <laughs> oh boy and yeah that's where it ends <laughs> that was nice all right so this episode that's it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to teasing master tagi san season 3 episode number 10 so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of teasing master takagi-san season 3 until then goodbye and have a nice day